Good morning, everyone. This is Uma coming to you live on Monday, April 17th. <coughs> Which your Lotus Lounge, Lotus Lounge podcast of the day. Lord, can y'all hear me struggling to talk? Huh. I have like, okay, so I have seasonal allergies. That's expected where I love, live. That's absolutely expected. But at the same time, it's like, I had it last week and now it's supposed to be gone and it's not. It's still here. So <clears throat> I haven't really been doing a lot of streaming or videos or stuff because I have been taking, you know, the allergy meds and <clears throat> I'm very like sensitive to medicine. I don't know if you guys are too, those of you that are spiritually high vibing, but um, medicine just doesn't work really well for me. I get really sleepy, really tired. I usually have to take like half doses, you know what I mean? So... I've been just sleeping a lot and it could be also spring, you know, spring's coming in and I'm getting my energy up, ready for, for going for whatever else needs to happen. All right, but we're going to kick it off. For those of you that are returning, welcome back. Thank you for supporting my channel. Appreciate you. For those of you who have been resharing my podcast, that's amazing. <coughs> um, I'm very happy and thankful and grateful for that. So thank you for doing that. So if you are new to the channel, welcome. My name is Uma. I am a psychic medium, the CEO of the Lotus and the Light Metaphysical Center in Northern Virginia, but I also offer things online. And I like to do this podcast as a way to start our day energetically with the right energy. All right. With the right energy. All right. So we're going to kick off. We're going to kick off our podcast with our affirmation of the day. So if you can, get nice and quiet, close your eyes, take a nice deep breath in, and exhale. By the way, big shout out to Coventry Creations for the candles. If you are watching this on YouTube or you're watching my TikTok videos, you will hear me mention Coventry candles, Coventry Creations. Um, and I, I can tag them on TikTok. I got to check and see if they have a YouTube, but I can just include their website link. They have great products. And these are some candles I got from them. The Dragon's Blood um, is an amazing smelling candle. It's on the YouTube video. And then the Prosperity Candle is in my TikTok videos. All right. So check them out. They smell great. They're great pricing. So check out Coventry Creations. Let's get our affirmation of the day. Big shout out again to Coventry Creations for the candles they have sent us. You can find these products and more at CoventryCreations.com. All right. Our affirmation of today is I am powerful. I am becoming more understanding, conscious, and self-aware each day. So today you're asked to tap into your brilliant intuition, your self-awareness, and your understanding of how life works. It's not up to anybody else but you. So claim your power today by claiming these amazing gifts that you have and make sense of this world for yourself. That is the message and affirmation of the day. Beautiful. All right. You know what? I'm feeling it. I'm feeling the vibe. I'm getting back into it. Let's just move right ahead into our message from our angel, our guardian, spirit our ascended master of the week and let's see what is going on remember guys i am taping separate tiktok videos so i'm gonna mention coverture creations again all right here we go nice deep breath in exhale put yourself into a place to receive the guardian message of the day let's get our guardian message of the day. This message comes from a goddess, a spirit guide, an ancestor, or um, ascended master for us today. Before I jump in, just want to remind everybody, these amazing candles that I have in my videos are from Coventry Creations. You can find them and more products at coventrycreations.com. Check them out. All right. For today, our ascended master is Hilar... See? Hilarion, Hilarion, Saint Hilarion, Master Hilarion. 
All right, whoever, gorgeous guy, fourth century Middle Easterner who became renowned for his successful healing work. Hilarion was beloved by both Christians and those who practiced the old religions. Much of his life and healing work was immortalized by St. Jerome's writings, which described Hilarion healing by commanding earthbound spirit attachments to leave. Call upon Hilarion. Oh, that's interesting. For any issues involving healing or the clearing of energy. <clears throat> so here is the message from Hilarion. This card is a sign of healing. Your divine healing power has awakened and you feel compelled to help others to heal. Just as you've been healed, so too do you want others to enjoy health and vitality. You're supported in making life changes so that you can continue to heal yourself and others. Let go of any fears or restrictive thinking to fully open the miracles of healing. All right, so this can be if you have an illness or injury, it's being healed or it's going through its healing process. This can be a message that you are a healer. Maybe you've been thinking about taking classes. By the way, I train healers. Hit me up. Um, it also is a message that it's a good and safe time for you to change to a healing career. Or you might be studying healing modalities. I myself teach Reiki, integrated energy therapy, access bars, tuning fork therapy, chakra balancing, and tarot classes. So if you're in the need for a mentor, definitely check me out. But the message today is about health and healing. Receive it as you will. Just a reminder, guys, that I do tend to... Um, do readings. I know you think like, oh, some people might be like, well, she just does this. No, not quite. I actually do um, a lot of, uh, I do a lot of readings. <laughs> I have to pause for that for a second because I really do. I do a lot of readings and um, people don't know how much readings I do until you, you know, hit me up and then find out. But let's move along to the Lotus and the Light blog of the week. So my blog this week is entitled Biggest Self-Love Challenge, Living for Myself. Ooh, let's get into it and let's see what we have here. Okay, let me just go ahead and... I have 39 videos that are in trash on my phone, so it's slowing down my phone. And as I go to record, it's like you have limited space. No, not anymore. I have all the space I need. <laughs> Okay, here we go. So, <clears throat> biggest self-love challenge, living for myself. I love myself. I know I love myself. I know I treat myself right, but yet I also fail myself every time I do this one thing. Pay more attention to what other people want over my needs. It's ingrained in us, I think. From our childhoods, we are taught to listen to elders, and in time... That translated to just listen to everyone but your own intuition. The main theme is this, trust the opinion of others over your own. It never sat right with me back then and it still doesn't stick with me now. It bothers me so much to listen to other people's opinions that I rarely have long-term friendships. I have learned the hard way that in some friendships, people expect you to take their advice if you're going through something. And if you don't, they get personally upset with you. This shouldn't be. And if this is a dynamic in your friendships, I suggest you take the time to explore if the friendship works for you. This is my theory of how friendships should work. Two mature people from different walks in life are friends. They should be open to exploring the friendship based on their mutual appreciation for each other and develop patience and understanding as they learn about new perspectives from each other. At no point should either, feel, either party feel guilty about their life experience when retelling to each other or be made to feel obligated to listen to advice, especially if it goes against your own intuition. Sounds easy, right? Not so. I've lost the friendship of many people who have tended to advise me and they got upset when I just did what I wanted to do. So what do we do? Do we keep trying to forge friendships and hope we can come across people who are open-minded and non-judgmental? Or do we give up altogether and just remain dedicated to living a solitary life? The latter is out of question because we did not come here to be solid, solitary. We are used to being around people. It's how we grow and live to learn. We learn what we like, 
and don't like in our human interactions. Things we cannot figure out living by ourselves. So how can we create meaningful friendships that inspire us to grow and not stifle us? I don't know fully yet. I do have conversations with my friends about what I want in friendships, and they tend to be on board with it, unless they're not, and then I hear an earful. So here are some tips for creating meaningful relationships in our mature years. Hopefully they help you too, and you can create some meaningful interactions in your life. Number one, express your intent. As I make new friends, I always find a way to slip it in conversation what my intentions are and what my expectations are concerning friendships. It's actually easy. Be a nice effing human, can't curse on here, and be open-minded. That's all I need in friends because my stories will blow your mind and I don't need your judgments or condescension. By me laying out my expectations, I'm respecting you enough to let you know that I trust you with the inner workings of my life. And I hope you can enjoy my stories and not feel the need to give me input. Number two, establish boundaries. Let your new friends know what is acceptable and what is not acceptable in your life. Ask them what their boundaries are and agree to respect them. We can't assume everyone wants the same thing out of friendships. So take the time to explore your new friend needs and requirements as you express yours. If people look at you funny or make remarks when you try to do this, don't buy it and keep walking. These people aren't in the market for long-term mature friendships. They're looking for people to dump their emotional baggage on and that's why they don't care to set the energy for the relationship. They rarely invest in one person, so if anyone gets mad at you, let them go and thank the stars you didn't entertain a friendship with them. There are real genuine people out here. You just got to take the time to find them. And number three, be true to yourself. Friendships should never become an integral part of life to the point where you value them more than you value yourself. They should be complementary to your life. If you find that every major decision <clears throat> you make requires input from your friends, then you may need to make adjustments. Think of friends as cheerleaders, part of the squad, but the head cheerleader and team captain is you. You direct the flow in your life, not your friends. Remember that. As for me, I will continue being me and loving me as you guys know me to do and keep an open door for friends to come in and for some to go. Some may stay, some may go, but at the end of it, I'll be okay because I got me and that's all I need. All right, that's the end of the blog. I hope you guys liked it. What do you think? Are you happy with the friendships in your life? Do you feel that people respect you, respect your boundaries? Or do you feel like, hmm, I'm kind of with Uma on this. I'm a grown person. I pay my bills. I don't need to be judged for anything or anyone that is in my life. So <clears throat> I might have to keep it pushing. You know, sometimes it, it turns out to be like that. All right, we're finally going to get down to the end of our time together here today. Oh, I know you guys are going to miss me. It is what it is, but I'll be back next week. I promise you. And we're going to end with our reading for the week. So let's see what the energy is this week and see if it's going to be something amazing. All right, so close your eyes. Take a nice deep breath in. Set your energy to get the reading of the week. Here we go. This reading is for the week of April 17th. But remember, if you're watching this on a recording, it doesn't matter. Spirit wanted you to hear this message. So take the message, take what resonates and leave the rest. Big shout out to my friends at Coventry Creations. Thank you so much for the beautiful candles. If you wanna buy these candles or more beautiful items, you can contact Mary Gilliam, account manager, or you can just go to the website, coventrycreations.com. They have great products at affordable pricing. All right, let's get into our reading for the week. Remember, guys, we do three cards with clarifying cards. The first card is for the beginning of the week, Monday, Tuesday. The second card is for the middle of the week, Wednesday, Thursday. And the last card is for the weekend, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. So as we jump in here, we have the beginning of the week. And look at this amazing card. Wow. <clears throat> the renewal card. I'm screaming. 
Spirit is a tattletale. The renewal card, because I'm going through this in my life right now, the renewal card is reviewing and evaluating, making a favorable assessment of the information received and moving in a new direction. So remember guys, this is a collective reading. So if it doesn't resonate, don't try to make it fit. Just call me, book me for a private reading and we can do a specific reading for you for the week. A weekly reading is $33, by the way, if anybody wants to know how this week is going to go specifically for them, it's $33. Hit me up and I'm happy to do one for you today. So the renewal card is clarified by Three of Pentacles and Magician. Some of you are living your dream today. There's something that you've been wanting and something that you have been manifesting for a while now using law of attraction, using good energy, being high vibrational, and you have your wish come true. So congratulations to those of you that are celebrating on Monday, Tuesday. You have something really, really personal for you develop and come true, and you're just amazed by it. So the three of pentacles and the magician tells me that this also involves another person so for some of you you're reconnecting you're in reunion with a loved one it could be people from your past coming back it could be better energy at the workplace it could be um you know your friendship circles are going in a good place but i feel that most of you are moving in a new direction today and you're start some of you are starting a new cycle some of you are just moving in a new direction and it feels good so whatever happens between monday and tuesday Thank the stars for it because it is about you moving in a new direction and everybody else coming on board. All right. All right. Let's now go to the middle of the week, which is Wednesday and Thursday. We have the three of water card. Look at that celebrations. And that is clarified by the Hierophant and the high priestess. Wow. Lot of introspecting lot of introspecting so people are really in their feels on wednesday thursday but it's a feel good feels it's realizations understanding reflection inspiration you're getting a lot of downloads about your inner circle this could be your partner this could be your friends this could be your family but it's healthy because you're getting it from source you're not getting it from like he say she say or other people's opinions you're getting it from source. So we have a, a reason to believe that Wednesday, Thursday is going to be popping. I'm talking about people from your past coming back, um, closure, forgiveness, healing, right? Talking, communication. For some of you, you might be waiting for a text or for somebody to open up to you. I feel it's coming Wednesday, Thursday, but a lot of clarity, a lot of healing and a lot of lightness associated because I see a lot of people rejoicing Wednesday, Thursday. So you're definitely getting news, whether it's in the career front, friendship front, love front, that is going to make you happy. And this news comes due to your patience and your ability to use the clarity that you have from source to see things from a higher vantage point and not get caught up in the energy of it. Okay. All right. Now let's go on to the weekend and see what energy is coming in this weekend. We have two of fire. Mm -mm -mm. Look at that, followed by the death rebirth card and the eight of cups. A lot of moving on this weekend, moving on from the past, moving on from unhealthy influences, moving on from the old ways of doing things because you have grown. The eight of cups is like you're moving on because you feel that there's nothing here more to challenge you or to make you grow. So you're ready for something more, something exciting. So a lot of really great energy. The death rebirth is about, you know, like ending a cycle, beginning a new cycle. So this week is really impactful. We have people making a huge change to their ways. We have people that are just, you know, turning over a new leaf, starting brand new, starting fresh. So congratulations, the weekend looks really amazing. Now, I have to say, this is a general reading. So there's some of you still clinging to the past, clinging to the old way of doing things, and it's not working out for you, all right? So I want you guys to just be aware that if the weekend doesn't go well, it's because you're clinging to something, let it go. Let go, let it go. Trust the universe and let the universe work in your favor, all right? That is the reading of the week of April 17th. But remember, whenever you hear this message, 
it is a reading for you. And if you want a private reading, hit me up. New people, a reading with me, an intro reading is $33 for 10 minutes. Or you could also, for those of you new or old that want the weekly reading, it is $33 for the weekly reading. All right. I want to thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. Um, I do have some events coming up this week. Let me let you know what is happening. I don't have anything today, Monday, April 17th, but um, is my internet down? Oh, no, it's not. Haha. <laughs> But tomorrow, Tuesday, April 18th, I have uh, free readings with Uma. This is going to be on my social media sites. So if you have YouTube, my information on there is, you know, youtube.com slash the Lotus and the Light. If you have Instagram, it's instagram.com slash the Lotus and the Light. All right. So I'm going to be broadcasting on Instagram and YouTube doing free readings on Tuesday, April 18th at 7.30 p.m., just for half an hour before I go on streams. And on the 20th, we have new moon readings. Now, the 18th is a free event. The 20th is not a free event because I'm actually doing a reading for you. I'm pulling three cards to give you the theme of the new moon, what to focus on, spirit's advice. The cost is 22.22, and I'll be doing this in a Zoom meeting um, on Thursday, April 20th at 7 p.m. Eastern. So if you want to get in on that, hit me up on any of my social media channels. I'll give you the link to RSVP and make the prepayment. I'm only taking five people for that event. On the 22nd at 10 a.m., I have an online business workshop for spiritual entrepreneurs. It's a two-hour online workshop from 10 to 12. We go over everything you need to know if you are a new healer or a new psychic or a new spiritual entrepreneur. All right, we're going to talk about the spiritual business ABCs, legal financial business ideas. All right, we're going to talk about marketing, advertising, social media, creating your the your team, who and what you need to thrive. So all of that, you're going to get like a kickstart into learning how to start your spiritual entrepreneur business. All of that is $2.95 and it's on Saturday. It's for two hours. And even if I got one person signed up for that, I would definitely still run it. All right. I would still run it. Thank you guys so much for supporting me and supporting my journey here on YouTube, here on my social media channels and on my podcast. Really appreciate you guys. Uma out. Have a blessed day. Namaste.